Good evening, everyone. I will call the special session of our uh, about our budget discussion to order. Today's Tuesday, April 19th. I'm sorry, April 9th, 2024. Tracy, could I have roll call, please? Leibold? Here. Park? Here. Siddig? Here. Smith? Wason? Here. Thank you. Item three is approval of the agenda, and it's just the budget hearing on there. And a motion for approval, please. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item four then is our FY25 budget and item A is public hearing regarding proposed tax levy for the FY24-25 City of North Liberty budget. Now is the time for anyone out there in the audience to make comment, uh, provide some input to us as a city in our public hearing. And I'll open the public hearing now. Are we talking the same thing? <laughs> You're going to propose it, and then I come back with my information? Is that what I do? This is a time for you and the public to provide comments on the budget as we have proposed. It's a public tax hearing time. On the levy. On the tax levy, excuse me, yes. All I know is that all the information that I have what the sales tax goes for everything and then all of the increases that the tax collector makes for himself which is quite a bit of money and i would like to know where all the money goes of the house tax the car license tax and the sales tax because i got it showing that the tax collector takes a regular wage increase and his family his family does too so would you mind letting us know who you are and um Pat anderson on rachel street thank you miss anderson do you have any comments about our city's tax levy those are the things that we are I, looking for input on i don't know how are you spending all the house tax car license tax and sales tax that that's what this is about no we don't tax. we don't send we this is for property tax we don't have anything property to do with sales tax or car taxes okay property tax Okay, so I got all the property tax. My daughter, my daughter's house went on a thousand bucks, and mine is seventy two hundred for a duplex. And I thought that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Seventy two hundred for, for a little bitty duplex. That's a piece of junk, and it was built cheap, and it's not worth seventy two hundred. Thank you, Miss Anderson. Anyone else wishing to make comment on the? on our levy. Okay, first meeting. I'm not sure how this is done. I'm Susie Van, Mary Vance, um, live in Arlington Ridge, and received this in the mail. Is this what we're discussing? Yes. Oh. But we are discussing the portion of it that is city tax, property tax related, yes. Okay, of which you keep bragging that you haven't increased our property taxes for so long, but you've increased our fees. At least property taxes, we get to take some off of the taxes at the end of the year. Fees, we do not. Um, so it, I didn't understand it at all. That's okay. And it's all very small print. And I would like somebody to kind of explain what all these figures are that we were sent. Okay. Um, because we're paying over $7,000 property tax where we live. And no, all of it is not North Liberty. Yes, North Liberty is a great town and you deserve what you're supposed to get, but you're you're taxing us out of our homes when we're reach that elderly area where we're on social security, and um, it it's gotten to be everything's for the children. Well, I'm sorry, when we were raising our children, we paid for our children, and that's what everybody uses. It's for the children. So, yes, if somebody wouldn't mind this lady that has all these figures, I highlighted the one thing for where the meeting was. I understood that. Okay. 
So I'm going to. Would sit. either one of you be able to sure. speak to this I think for so. us? Thank Could you. Could I? Do you mind if I have a copy or use your letter to speak from? <clears throat> Thank you. And I'll I'll happy to. I'll, I'll um, we'll talk through this, and I'd be happy to, to visit through it, um, visit with you about it uh, outside of a meeting as well. But first, I think we should clarify that I think many of you know we didn't put this document together. This is a state-mandated mandated document uh, that someone uh, uh, at the uh, Department of Management put together for all cities, counties, school districts. So um, we expressed our concern before they sent this out as well that was a little confusing. No <clears throat> argument there. Uh, I can speak to uh, the information in here about North Liberty, not so much about the, the school district or the county uh, or, or any other taxing district. Uh, and I think um, you probably saw that they have separate meetings to, to talk about their uh, tax rates as well. <clears throat> in North Liberty's case, um, Look here. Cheaters are in my bag. I do. <laughs> I can just hold it back a little bit. I'll be okay. Do a line pass down. Uh, so what this is saying, um, it's just telling you the um, uh, what the uh, current tax rate is. So the tax rate this in in the fiscal year we're in is eleven dollars and forty five cents per thousand. Uh, it's also saying that. The proposed tax rate that um, you'll be paying on next year is going to be eleven dollars and thirty-seven cents per thousand. So, North Liberty's city tax rate, again excluding all the others, is actually going down eight cents this year. Uh, so, if the value of your home stayed the same, you would be paying less tax. I don't know in either of your situations what the values in your own homes did, but in most cases across the county, they went up drastically. Uh, the assessed value. Well, I'm sorry, what was that? Twice. Twice, okay. And so uh, when you consider that, and again, I'd have to see those numbers to, to look at it to understand what happened, but uh, more than likely you're paying the same or more if your value went up that much. Uh, this also explains um, <clears throat> uh, how much, uh, how many tax dollars the city will generate uh, uh, this year, the current year we're in, and next year. And so they're comparing those two numbers as well. And then finally, where I think it gets really confusing, they're they're showing what the what they're calling the effective tax rate would be if we collected the same amount of money this year than we did last year. Uh, but as you indicated earlier, we're collecting additional revenue uh, this year to continue to pay for, to pay for the escalating costs of, of running the city. So that in a summary is, is what this says for each organization or each entity that you pay taxes to. <coughs> I don't know if that was helpful, uh, but that's kind of the summary, at least how I interpret the summary. I don't, Tracy, anything to add on that? That's exactly how the Iowa Department of Management summarized how to explain the summary. And I'll add that it is confusing to look at it without some sort of outside guide to help work through it. And we knew that going into this, that it would be a confusing mm -hmm. document for our residents. Because it's not clean and easy and simple, it's which we all need. I mean, it's that's the way it should be. Yes. So. Yeah, I got the same thing. It would. I don't know. It'd be nice if each area was broken down on a separate sheet of paper or something. It just. This was. You look at it and you go, okay, we've had two big tax increases on our own. We live in Arlington Ridge. They told us it was because of Liberty High being behind us, which we weren't told we were going to have Liberty High over there listening to all the games and seeing the lights left on all night. 
and then um, you hear tax, you go a little bit. I just can't see her face. And Ford tax. It's the tax that's killing us for staying in our home. And I don't want to leave North Liberty. Um, and I, I don't know what we're going to do. And as you said, North Liberty is going down. But also, there's that delay of taxes going through. I mean, if they give you a tax rate, seniors, this is the overall tax. We're supposed to get that tax, not for North Liberty, but overall. It turns out that it'll be like 125 to 150 dollars a year after you fill in the enormous amount of paperwork. And the auditors didn't even know how much until just a month or so ago. And you're going, I spent more time filling in paperwork than $125, $150 a year savings for people 65 plus. Then this comes in the mail. So I'm here. I wish there were more people here. <laughs> Thank you for the explaining. Sure, and I'm, if you think of additional questions or want to talk outside of the meeting, I'm happy to do that as well. I, we feel your frustration with the, con the confusion of that letter, and we can certainly pass those comments on. We have a contact at the Department of Management, uh, and I suspect other cities will hear, and counties and school districts will hear similar comments, and hopefully uh, by reaching out that way we can maybe make some sort of change to that. But again, that's uh, unfortunately out of our cover letter. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, I, we agree, yeah. This pertains to you for North Liberty. This pertains to, I don't know, Swisher. This pertains to Coralville and maybe A, B, C, D, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. And I will say I appreciate you both being here tonight and some of the frustrations that you have are shared by us as staff, uh, as council members, and also residents of the city. Ironically, the state wanted to do this in an effort to provide some transparency on how your tax dollars were being spent. Those are meetings that we have every year. Uh, we actually have it coming up on our next agenda or our, on our next meeting here at 630. Uh, we do it every year. Uh, we have three or four meetings throughout the budget process that are completely open to the public to understand how we're spending money uh, and in the ways that our city uh, needs to, to support the growth that it has in here. So again, I'll say thank you for coming in and uh, for expressing uh, what we all feel uh, out there uh, with you. Are there any other comments? I'll keep the public hearing open. And I'm going to do so for the next two minutes or so, giving anybody an opportunity if they walk in the door, if that's okay with everybody, until 6.15. Thanks for finding these. You're welcome. Sorry you didn't get to use them. Yeah. I'll, sure, I'll use them here again. All I have to do is rifle through your bag. <laughs> I could have passed mine down. They're red. <laughs> Get my grubby fingerprints all over. I noticed that. Yeah, well, I took care of that. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah, it's a thought that counts.
Okay, it is now 6.15 and I'm going to close the public hearing time. Item five is a motion to adjourn. Move we adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.